Okay, so today I'd like to introduce Mary Ann Berghalter. She lives in Texas. And I wanted to interview her because I saw her on Instagram and I was very taken by her Instagram account of her walking. Um, but since I've got to know her, I've learned it's a, a much more interesting story um, than that. So, so Mary Ann, thank you very much for coming on and, uh, and talking to me. Can you tell people a bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I am now 71 years old and um, we're in Texas right now. But uh, we split our time between Illinois and Texas because my husband has MS and is wheelchair bound and the cold up there keeps him from being able to go outside and affects his MS, you know, extreme temperatures. Yeah. And then the heat down here in the summer affects him. So we go back and forth. And since I retired, um, we were able to start doing, actually before I retired, I was an actress and I did shows in nursing homes and I arranged to work down here in um, the winter and up there in the summer. So um, that is part of what led me into working out is I was working that and my husband being a caregiver and it wore me out. Uh, and by the time I retired, I was tired. I found myself sleeping all the time uh, not having energy to do anything. Um, before that, I had, I had joined gyms to try and work out and lose weight. And then something would happen and I quit. And wow. but I was so tired all the time. I, I just had to do something. And a chain of gyms called Planet Fitness opened near our house in Illinois. And it was very inexpensive. So I thought, okay, I'm going to give it another shot and see if it'll help me feel better. So when they opened, they had what's called the 30 minute workout room. And it's strictly, it's step, steppers and strength machines. And you spend like a minute on each thing and then go to the next one. There's like this downtime. So literally you get a full body workout, 30 minutes. I figured, okay, I can do 30 minutes. Let's see if it helps. And within that's two weeks. That's extraordinary in itself that you, um, a lot of people would say, oh, I'm so, I'm really tired. The last place I want to go is a gym. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm too tired to go to the gym. But you actually said, I'm really tired. Maybe going to the gym will help me feel better. Yeah. Well, I was at one of those where, you know, you're on all kinds of medication for different things, you know, arthritis and, and the stress of being a caregiver and everything. And the profession I was in is very stressful being yeah. an actress. It's not exactly predictable. And um, so I was on all kinds of medications for stress and anxiety and arthritis and, uh, things were starting to hurt. I was starting to have rotator cuff issues. And, you know, I had to do something. I couldn't go on that way. Um, and that was what I was going to try. And just to see if it made me feel any better. And within two weeks of starting to go, and I think I was only going maybe three, four times a week, um, doing the 30 minute room. And within two weeks, I had more energy. I was getting more done after spending time at the gym than in a day than I was in a week before that. Wow. And wow. I just felt so much better that I started going to the gym more. <laughs> and they have free train a free trainer there. So he started taking me through other machines and other equipment and started thinking about what I was working out and how. And I also added um, the massage chairs and massage beds that they have there because I still hurt everywhere from the arthritis or whatever. And so it became this thing where, okay, I'll work out and then I'll treat myself to a massage. And it's cheaper to do that than to go get a massage yeah. to, go to the gym. So it was like, you have to do one to get the other, <laughs> right? <laughs> Reward yourself. And uh, I started uh, working out more 
you know, it's like the 30 minute room. I felt this good. And then I start doing other things and I felt even better. And then mm -hmm. I'd go get a massage and I started going on the bikes, you know, to build endurance. It's like, yeah, I want more energy. And I started doing um, treadmill and stair climber, but I really got into the stair climber because it, it works more big muscles at one time, faster than anything else. And uh, truthfully, the first time I got on the stair climber, after five minutes, I was felt like I was dead and fell off <laughs> as I was trying to get off of it. So you would think I wouldn't go back on it, but uh, I did eventually and started adding the treadmill in, but I got to where uh, I was spending, doing a hundred floors on the stair climber. It, that was my average of every week doing a hundred floors. And uh, I had upped my gym to being a half an hour was, psh, I'd have to be there at least an hour, you know, hour and a half, two hours. And I was still being more productive, taking the two hours out to go to the gym than I was before when I wasn't. I was getting more done after I started going to the gym than I was before. Um, at this point, we went from Illinois back down to Texas and it's a half hour drive to where I, the gym is but I was still doing it like three times a week and still doing my stairs. And that's when I saw this sign about what's called Big Climb Houston. It's in support of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. And it said 51 floors. Well, I was doing minimum 80 floors, you know, at one go on the stair climber, I could do 51. I've never done anything like that before, but yeah, why not try? So I put out a thing because there's a minimum you have to fundraise. And I'd never done that kind of physical fundraiser, never done a physical challenge before. This was completely new. I'm 69 years old and want to go climb a 51 floor building in downtown Houston. And as soon as I put it out, it's like, do you think I can raise this money? And do you think I can do this to all my friends? And they said, yes. So I signed up and within days I had the minimum, you know, cause so many people were supportive of that. And it was really exciting doing, I, being with all those other people and you're all there for a cause. And it's like, I'm helping myself, but I'm also helping someone else. So it's, you can't get more of a win-win situation than that. And I was so happy and excited by being able to do that. I wanted to do it some more. And they have stair these climbs, building climbs all over the country. And lest you think it's outside of the building, it's not. It's inside the building. I had a couple of people, you're climbing buildings? They thought I was scaling the outside of a building. But no, it's the stairways. So um, that September um, 11th, my, my niece wanted to do um, a climb in on a stair climber in honor of all the fallen firefighters from 9-11. And she put word out that she wanted, you know, trying to get some of her friends to do it with her. And here is her 69 year old aunt is the only one that said yes. <laughs> and at this point, my niece is into like doing Spartan stuff. You know, she, she had done a Spartan and came to visit us down here. She had one in Texas, you know, where she jumps over the fire and everything. So she's been an inspiration to me too, because she completely turned her life around with exercise, but she's 20, you know, in her twenties, now thirties, but she has kids, you know. Um, but I, we ended up climbing the 110 stories for the firefighters. Uh, and I did it in just over an hour. And you feel so proud of yourself when you accomplished something like that. And yeah. I ended up doing the big climb in Dallas, which is climbing the largest, the tallest skyscraper in Dallas, which is 70 floors the next January. <sighs> and uh, that was even more exciting because there were even more people involved because it's an older climb than, than the one in Houston. And I, 
talk to my husband. It's like, I wanted to do all the climbs all over the country. You know, I could do this. And uh, so I was going to try and do Memphis. And then COVID-19 hit. Um, when COVID hit, we were traveling and I was trying to go to gyms and not getting there. We would find staircases and I would go climb them, but I wasn't getting as much exercise and I was kind of depressed about that. Um, I really missed it, which most people wouldn't, unless you are used to working out, you don't realize how you reach a point where you miss it and you don't feel good if you don't go work out. It's like your body just craves it. And I was at that point and we got back from our trip I was depressed that I hadn't been working out at the gym and then COVID hit. So all the gyms were closed and it's like, what do you do? Well, all our, my gym planet fitness started putting out videos and they had, were putting out like nine new workout videos a week. So I, I had joined Instagram to follow my niece and I decided I was going to start posting every day what workout I did to keep myself on track and to force myself to work out at home, which I had never, ever been able to do before. You know, it's one of those things, right. I don't know what to do. And, uh, well, they had a 20 minute workout, 20 minutes is easy to do. Um, and I did it and I did it 90 days in a row. Wow. And wow. during that time, I also did the virtual big climb because the leukemia lymphoma society since they had to shut down all their fundraising events decided to do it virtually and they started giving training sessions to do those climbs and i'd signed up for the one in memphis virtually yeah. and yeah. they did climbs which were giving the number of steps if you couldn't find stairs so i started walking and I would climb a lighthouse in Maine that was this many steps, you know, and I would watch the video beforehand and in my mind climb the lighthouse as I'm walking down the street. And that got me into walking and walking more and more and then trying to up it into jogging a little bit, you know. Um, I'm 70 years old and I'm starting to jog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is, whoa, and I'm working out, and um, then vertigo hit, I woke up one morning, and the entire world spun, so it's like, oh, man, I'm on such a good track, and then what do I do? I, three days, I didn't work out, and I was getting depressed, actually, from not working out, and then YouTube to the rescue, because I found all these seated workouts, which my husband, who is quadriplegic, started doing with me. And so I have a whole cadre of seated workouts that I can do whenever the dizziness hits. So I only three days during that time did I go without working out. Even though I was dizzy, I couldn't bend over and I couldn't move my head fast side to side without making me want to get sick. So you can work out even when you're sick, you know, and I found out that uh, when I wasn't doing my full body workouts, my arthritis pains were coming back and my rotator cuff pains, which I hadn't noticed, but they had completely gone away until I stopped working out for a little while. So I found ways to, again, thanks to YouTube, I found exercises for my hip arthritis in my foot, arthritis in my rotator cuffs. And I started adding that in. Now I have a 20 minute workout I do every day that addresses all of my issues. So that I put together. And so every morning I do it and I still don't have rotator cuff problems. My hip doesn't bother me. My other arthritis doesn't bother me. So I encourage everybody to get on YouTube and find out what's bothering you you know, and find a way to, to help it because it's there. It, it, there's so much out there to, to help you get started. In fact, there's one person, there's a lady in England. She calls herself on Instagram, the vitality coach. Yeah. And 
it's mainly for seniors, but it, oh, she has a whole series she started that it's for people that have never worked out or for people that have to do a seated workout. And we do her stuff almost every week, at least one or two of her videos. And they're excellent for getting started working out if you don't think you can at all. That's absolutely fantastic. I mean, so many people go, oh, you know, I've got, I've got arthritis, I can't work out. I'm tired, I can't work out. I've got vertigo, I can't work out. Yeah. Um, and so on and so on and so on. And you are, sh you are a living example that actually, you have to do it carefully, but you can yes. still work out even with all sorts of health problems and not only can you work out you can you can benefit from it as well because you yeah. clearly benefit physically and mentally as well oh absolutely there's a huge tie it one of the other things that we're working out is you start reading about how working out affects your body and you start finding out there's an enormous mental connection between your body and uh, working out in your mind. And it's like, if you want to slow down, maybe getting dementia, uh, one of the best things you can do is start working out. Um, it keeps your, your mind active as well as your body. And if you can go outside, it's even better. They've, they've done studies where they found out people that go out and just walk outside um, have a better chance of, of lessening the, the onset of Alzheimer's. You know, there's this one book I read called Sparks, Spark, and it was written by a psychiatrist. And he goes into depth about all the different things, issues like aging or Alzheimer's or arthritis or different things that how working out, just moving your body can change things in your brain that affects your body. It, I know that sounds very, I, I, everything I'm saying is probably very convoluted because it's like been such a process over the last two years. Um, oh, no, I, think, I think you're really, really clear what you're saying. And um, I think, you know, it's such a great message and you're such a, a bundle of, of life and activity. Um, Which is a big change over two years ago when I was yes. like, I just want to lie down. It's like I have more energy now than I probably did when I was 50 or 60 years old. And it's like I miss Texas is under fruit is frozen, which it never is. <laughs> um, and so I can't go outside and run that, you know, the the whole virtual thing got me into running. And uh, that's how you discovered me is my 8K run, yes. which was yes an offshoot of all the other things I did. I started doing uh, running in the neighborhood and people are always like, oh, you know, I've seen other people start walking now out there because they just see me out all the time. And you start seeing more people out because you started it. And that, that feels good too. Yeah, It's like when you affect the people you care about and the people around you, it's like you're doing it. So they feel like they can do it too. My husband, who is wheelchair bound, used to do skydiving for MS. He was complete he's quadriplegic. He, what, 12, 15 years ago, he, they took him up skydiving. And I sat on the ground because I was not going up in that plane and jumping out of it. But I heard all these people around me go, well, if he can do it, I can do it. Because they were still somewhat mobile. And yet my husband, who is completely immobile, is up there in the sky. And he's been like 12 times he's gone skydiving. You know, finally the pro the, the fundraiser went went bye-bye. So he's not doing it anymore. But uh, it just shows that you can do it with all kinds of things. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, it, you, know you can be a role model for people. And that's, you know, there's a lot of joy in that, as you say, as well as actually the benefit 
in terms of what's happening to your own body and your own mind, there's also that joy when you find that other people are, are thinking, well, if she can do it, I can do it. Yeah. Exactly. She, and, and you're not changing anything about yourself. You're doing, and it actually encourages you because yes. you start going, you know, I'm having a positive effect in the world. There's so much negative out there after, you know, that it's like when you can put some positive stuff out there, it really makes you feel good. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it's all, everything I do on Facebook and Instagram now is all about trying to work out and do positive things. And I try, I've been trying to avoid politics and all of that because there's, it gets so, people just like get so wrapped up and, and, and it's causing a lot of depression too yeah. in a lot of people, the state of the world and COVID and everything. And there's just get up and do a workout video and you'll feel better. So if people wanted to follow you on Instagram, what's your Instagram handle? Uh, it has nothing to do with my name. It has to do with my old business name, which was Characters Go. So on Instagram, I'm char to go C-H-A-R the number two G-O. Okay. So there's always some go in there. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's been a real, real privilege talking to you. It's, um, you know, upliness is about role, a big part of upliness is about role models. And, you know, I'm, I want to uh, present people, find people who are role models for other people about what it means to age in a healthy way. And you yeah. are a fantastic role model. And uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't set out to do it. I just wanted to start feeling better. And and if I can show anybody that just getting out and doing a little bit, just start moving. You know, walk a, a block. Uh, you will feel better. You know. And you can you can kind of change your own life that way. Take charge, take control. Absolutely. Thank yeah. You so, thank you so much for talking to me. Jane, thank you so much for having me. I'm looking forward to your website. Yeah. See what it does. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.